been a while since Sister Beard featured in a video. She's not what I would call facial hair free, but she definitely has a lot less facial hair than me. You're, you're naturally beautiful just like me. Yeah, she's given me a, a lift in to, uh, to get my hair cut today. I need to sort this abomination out. All right, it's haircut time. Going to my favorite barber shop today, Lord's Barbers in Leeds. Hopefully they can do something with whatever that is. That is very slightly better. All right, it's time for lunch. And uh, people still ask me week in, week out, um, how I stay in uh, good shape uh, while doing all this crazy stuff. And uh, it's nothing magical. I don't have a mutant metabolism or anything like that. It's just calorie control, uh, which is what we're doing today. So we got turkey and low fat coleslaw sandwiches in a uh, whole wheat bread. We got some uh, tiny little chicken salad and uh, tuna and pasta salad over here. And for somebody with a regular appetite, it's a pretty decently sized meal, but this is pretty much it for me today. I might have like some cottage cheese later on. No magic metabolism, no four hour cardio sessions, just calorie management, right? That's all it is. Oh, this food looks boring. I hate this time of day. There's no more eating to be done and it's only 2 p.m. Luckily, I got other things to keep my mind occupied like opening some mail, which I've not done for a few weeks, but that's because I've not had any packages for a few weeks. Uh, but this, you can see, I got a little bit excited. I've already started opening this. Um, and this is from a company called giantbornapparel.com. So go check them out. Uh, it's a new hat company and um, I don't know if I should take that as a hint, you know, that my hair is so terrible it needs to be covered up, but they sent me a bunch of hats, uh, so I'm excited to look at them. Uh, this is kind of like their logo. This is giant, you can't really tell. I'm not sure what the size is going to be like. I've got kind of a pin head, so I'll put it on there, see what they look like. That is not bad. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this one is fly. I don't know why, but I never wear baseball caps the right way around. I'm not that big a douche that I would wear them sideways, <laughs> but I always wear it backwards. This one is also sweet. I don't even know what that logo's supposed to be. It kind of looks like a cap with giant shoes. Maybe that's just me. These hats just keep coming. Oh man, this one is badass. And we got a few more in here. I'm not going to try every single one of them on. I think they sent me one cap for every day of the week. That's nice. And the guys over at GiantBoneApparel.com have created a special discount code just for you guys. So if you go over to their website and enter BEARD15, you get, you guessed it, 15% off any of their caps or any of the stuff they do on their website. Um, and I'm not saying this just because they sent me this stuff for free, um, but these are some really premium hats. They've also sent me, I kind of feel like I've been bribed here a little bit, there's something like a care package with a bunch of goodies in it. Not these, these aren't goodies, these are just bags. Nutella, obviously watch my videos. Biscoff, I didn't even know you could get this in America. I thought this was just like an English thing. You guys call it cookie butter though. On there it says, uh, right at the bottom there it says cookie butter. We call it biscuit. Bis I don't know if you call it biscuit butter or just like biscuit. Biscuit spread is what we call it. Texas Pete hot sauce. These guys haven't been paying enough attention to my videos because they should know that I don't like spicy stuff. I've been heavily bribed here. Granola. I don't know what this is. Jet puffed mallow bites. The, I don't think these have stood the test of um, international freight. But go check them out anyways. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the rest of this vlog. Let me 
marshmallows with coconut on them? Seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I got my hair cut two days ago. Fade's already starting to disappear. Anyways, it's gonna be a busy couple of days for me. I'm not gonna have much time to sit down and eat food, so. This morning, despite it being really wet, I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, it's raining. That's England for you. This morning, I'm gonna go out and uh, try find another restaurant challenge just to load up on some calories. That way, I don't have to worry about eating much over the next few days. See what we can find. I'm gonna need a lot of this today. The, uh, the manager just told me nobody's done this yet, so it'd be cool if I can get it down, but it does look like a lot of food for 20 minutes, so. Right, um, ready when you are, bud? Oost! What's happening, Beard Army? I'm afraid the commentary box it's double booked this week, so you're just going to have to put up with my voice uh, and no face. But uh, this is Shooter's Sports Bars. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I think it's like the Twin Burger Challenge. And uh, yeah, mistake number one. I should have let this cool down. You can see the steam coming off it. Um, you think I would have learnt by now, but... I didn't want to keep the guy waiting, you know. And I kind of amassed a bit of a crowd by this point, so... I thought the water would be uh, would be enough. It's uh, it's a pretty big platter of food. Um, wasn't uh, I knew I would do it, but um, I knew it would be kind of uh, I'd have to keep a good pace, you know, throughout um, because 20 minutes is not all a lot of time uh, to get this down. I'm not surprised that nobody has done this before um, because. That's a tricky time limit for a, for like a rookie, um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the one thing with it I didn't notice until afterwards. Um, I looked on the on the menu afterwards, and it has what they call competition hot sauce on it, um, which is not like anything insane like ghost chilies or anything like that. But definitely packs a bit of a punch, uh, and spicy stuff always slows me down. There's a couple of jalapenos in there as well. Uh, as you can tell, this is a sports bar because they've got, I think it's like tennis on in the background. So, I apologize if that puts you off. But uh, each burger comes with five patties, um, cheese, stuff like that. And uh, that's the hot sauce. Um, I just got a bite of that there. Um, but yeah, it's five patties in each, uh, each burger. I don't know how much it weighs. Um, I could probably estimate looking at it, it's probably like, I don't know, five, six pounds or something. But anyway, um, I needed a lot of water to get this down. Um, I knew it would be kind of a rush, so. It took me a long time to clear the, the debris though. Um, I started off pretty well, pretty impressed with my, my time at the beginning. But, um,. Once I got into those buns, you know, a lot of the spice kind of slowed me a little bit, which it always does, I don't know, it just kind of puts me off eating, which is weird, but, um, this wasn't too bad. Uh, and the one thing with this, uh, which was, <laughs> I was a little worried about when I ordered it at the bar, um, somebody recognised me, uh, one of the other guys that was waiting at the bar, uh, to be served, and he noticed that, um, I was there, and <laughs> I was like, shut up, man! I don't want this person to know who I am, so... Uh, I think they gave me a fair shot though, so... That's cool, you can see I'm getting down to the last bite now. In. Good, mate. Did you have a dessert menu? A dessert menu? Yeah. What's happening, beer on me? I'm back! La 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 la! That's my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression.